behold Amy nabbing. <laughs> She's trying to flip me off. She's been napping for a while. Shut up! It's only been like 40 minutes. It's a pretty good nap. It should be like 20 minutes longer. <laughs> anyway, well, I really turned the camera on. It's just a bug here, but holy crap, it is nice out, but it is super windy. And the wind died down as soon as I got the camera out. <laughs> oh, it is recording. I had no idea. Normally it beeps again. Um. I can't see what I look like, so I cannot wait to see this. Um, <laughs> He's so cute. Welcome to Tuesday. Um, This kind of stuff always happens right before we go to bring Amy to work. I don't know why, but she's thinking, don't do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> We've done this before. Well, in order to get Amy to stop, I need to put the camera down. Okay, so, dropped Amy off, uh, and now it's windy and gray out. I mean, look at this. Look at the beginning of the vlog again. That was the morning. It was nice, sunny, it was warm. Uh, it's actually not too cold, but it was sunny, it was warm. It wasn't a whole lot of wind. By the time we were doing our workout, uh, it was windy and gray, and at one point, the wind sounded so strong. I was like... Holy crap, there has to be a storm coming. But it's barely sprinkling. Um, you walk two feet and it's not sprinkling anymore. And, uh, there's only a 20% chance of rain throughout the day at most. So, it's just a windy, gray day. I went out this morning to, uh, to throw out some more garbage. And, like, I didn't even put a jacket on because it was that nice out. But now I'm putting my on again. Uh, just to be safe. And can you even hear me? There's so much wind. Okay, we gotta go home. Wind has gotten so much worse. It's crazy. Uh wish there was something blowing behind the plants. You didn't see this far? So I tried and failed just a second ago, um to get a shot of stuff blowing and all I did was get curtain in my face but the wind has gotten like so much worse um it was actually like blowing me over at one point on the way home and uh, it's kind of it's really annoying actually I don't like I don't know what the hell it's doing if it's just wind but it sounds like tornado wind it feels like tornado wind and if you don't know what that's like great um seriously honestly it, it's insane and if I took the camera out, it really wouldn't do it justice, because you can't see wind, and maybe you could hear the sounds, but it just, I don't, it's impossible to do. Can you hear that? It's insane. <laughs> like I said, it sounds like tornado winds. I don't think Japan really gets tornadoes, but it sounds like it. It sounds like this is what's going to happen. It's nuts. I've said that like nine times, maybe six, whatever. Um, gotta make one more unscheduled trip out, uh, gotta go get some more stuff to send my dad for his birthday, it'll be late, but, sorry dad, um, it will be there, and, it's five o'clock now, only have a little bit of cleaning to do, gotta, like, clean the floor and whatnot, but, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can find what I'm looking for to send my dad. That's the main issue for today. And then some studying. Well, I think I'm still getting sick because my stomach hurts again. This is not fun. So I had to just kind of unload that, but ow. Right, so by the looks of it today, I might only be able to, uh, what's the word, allocate, uh, like, only an hour of studying. Only an hour to Japanese studying because I realize that I have, like, a lot more to do than I thought. Um, Amy has more training for work on Friday, so, um, probably gonna go with her, but, uh, that didn't work. So, um, she asked if I could, uh, look up directions, because she was given the place, and, um, no offense to Amy, but 
if I don't do it, uh, she will probably forget until the last minute. And, um, I would for have forgotten, actually. I misheard her this morning, and I thought uh, she said that she had directions. But she asked me to look up directions, so she she asked me again after after lunch. So, I can do that, which is okay. Um, obviously, directions are pretty easy to look up. The fun thing about Google Map directions for Japan is it literally tells you everything, which doesn't... Uh, doesn't seem like anything crazy like of course google maps tells you everything is what it's supposed to do but no when you look up like i've said it before uh quick tangent quick tie-in um there are two modes of transportation you will use when you come to japan uh and two optional ones the two optional ones are buses and a bike if you buy it the two that you will use will giant will will walking you will walk everywhere, and you will use the trains. That being said, when you Google map things in Japan, it tells you what train line to use, what platform to be on, um, how long between trains they will be, which is really handy, and how much everything will cost. So if you have to get from the Hodunk town of Kimitsu into Tokyo, it's it's not that hard. It's like, okay, where am I going to... to, to okay, that'll cost 1,980 yen, which is like 20 bucks. Um, and it tells you that. It tells you that in the bottom of the directions, which is one of the most helpful things in the world because um, we have a train card. Uh, they're different everywhere you go. Um, we have the Suica card. It's got a little penguin on it, which is pretty cool. And you load that with money, so you don't have to, like, worry about buying a ticket every time. So, um, we don't put a lot on there, we just put it, like, per trip. So, if you know how much in advance you need on there, it's really easy to go and... <clears throat> when you're making the trip to the station, like we do, several times a day, you just put money on there. And then you can go on your train trip. I don't know if I've ever talked about the Suica card before. Um, if I have, I apologize for boring you with this information again. Um... I still haven't gotten stuff from my dad. That was just like a minute ago when I uh, mentioned that I had to do that. But I want to look up these directions. I have to get the stuff from the store from my dad. And I have to clean still. I gotta clean the floors and the, the shower? Yeah, the drain in the shower and the kitchen. Still a little bit to clean. And then study. And that should be it. But it'll take longer than it sounds. Um, just because that wind will probably make it slow for me to walk. Which blows. Oh well. <laughs> Enough complaining, let's get my work done, shall we? Wind has died down considerably. Uh, it is still windy, but it's a lot better than it was. Which makes this little errand a whole lot nicer. Okay guys, uh, almost forgot to, to do this. I started eating this ice cream, which is more haagen these little things. It's Royal Cassis Milk? I don't know what that is, but um, the the picture there with the milk and the cassis, I don't know if that's a grape or something. Um, it looked like an alcoholic beverage, and I like alcoholic beverages, um, especially mixed drinks. Probably not manly, but it doesn't matter. The important thing is, is this is delicious. Um, yeah, so... Royal Cassis Milk. It's luckily, it's written in English underneath the katakana, but reading katakana really helps. Um, yet another thing that you should try. I don't think it's seasonal, because I've seen it before, and I finally bought it today. Um, so yeah, if you find one of these in the store, and you're here in Japan, I got it at Don Quixote, because I was there shopping for my dad, and it's a lot cheaper there. Well, maybe like 100 yen cheaper, so it's like a dollar cheaper there than the, the, the Kombini. Um... Don Quixote, they're, they're awesome places, but, yeah, I recommend trying that one, too. Okay, um, I want to warn you, this is nasty. I don't know why I'm putting it on the internet, but it is totally Japan-related. This is, like, what the fuck do you even call it? The trap thing in the sink so food doesn't get in the drain and get caught in the S-Bend, but it's retarded. Um, ah, you're not going to be able to see it. Anyway, it's way too long. Half of it doesn't do anything. It just kind of holds it in place. And it smells terrible right now because it needs to be cleaned. 
The inside has little plastic bars going this way, and the outside has little plastic things going this way. So there's almost no room for tiny pieces of food to get through, which sounds fantastic. Except that also means that tiny little pieces of food get caught, because now any food gets trapped and water basically can't get out. Um, there's water in there now, so you can see that. Oh, also, um, I didn't mean to offend anyone when I said retarded just now, to begin this thing. Um, to retard something means to hold back, and this retards the draining process. So, it's a colloquialism, it's not a good one, and I apologize. Moving on. I have to clean this stupid thing. I've tried to clean it, I've, I'll wipe off the muck and shit that builds on it, but I have to get in between the little bars there. I think this toothpick will do it, but I said I had to clean today, and this is what's going to take most of the time. It's already 6.30, um... Might have to knock something off the list today. Not studying. Must learn Japanese. Promise me. Promise me. Promise me. You will study. Someone. Learn a foreign language. Like I am. It's awesome. Also, <laughs> uh, don't ever have anything like this. I miss the small ones. I miss it. This thing. I hate it. It's stupid. Finally, the cleaning is done. Done. It smelled. I'm pretty sure I got bleach on my shirt. Or maybe that's the bleach that's always been there. I don't know. I ended up bleaching half the sink after cleaning that disgusting thing. I don't even want to go in there anymore. It was nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. And like... Ugh. Ugh. I'm, I'm not squeamish. But like... Just looking at that thing made me want to hurl a little bit. It was so bad. I finally get to study some Japanese. I learned some new vocabulary today. And uh... Yeah, yeah. After that, I'll work on dinner. We can get Amy, because it's almost 8 o'clock. I have to leave at 9.30. Yeah. Okay. Good plan. Let's do a mental checklist before you go to the store. I realized just now, when I started the potatoes, from mashed potatoes for dinner, that I had no milk. And the supermarket closes at 8. And it is, um... 8.35 now. Um, if I could read a watch. So, luckily the kombini had milk. So, I was able to do it, but I felt so stupid. <laughs> uh, simple mistakes. Easy solutions. Hooray. Are you filming? Yes. What? Guess who's home early? Me. Yeah. Um, my boss, my manager. My manager, there are different, there's a difference. My manager ran out of stuff for me to do. So he sent me home, but like 40 minutes early. So here I am with the man. Yeah. I've had the worst day ever, uh, which included stalkers, still bad children, and people feeling sorry for me. Yeah, that's my day. So here's Dean tasting his mash. What's that? Holy garlic, Batman. Yeah, yeah. It, um... You need more salt. Do I? Okay. So, something else that happened to end my wonderful day. My purse... Oh, this is probably a wonderful angle. My purse broke. Yeah. Here it is, hanging off the string. This will probably break soon, too. So, guess who's shopping for a new purse this weekend? That'd be me. Alright, I'm going to eat this deliciously garlicky food. <laughs> that is 98% American. And garlic. 98% garlic. <laughs> uh, and then we will talk to you later. Say bye.